Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Hope you're doing great. Today, I want to show you a quick tip when using Hive OS and Hive on pool to do some testing to find the pool latency and see how well your pools are performing from a connectivity standpoint. Now, I've showed you in the past how you can go to a command prompt and just ping any pool that you might be using or you want to take a look at. But what I'm going to show you is a way that you can do it from your flight sheet. And this is a new feature that was added. And it's pretty cool. I was pretty excited about it. Now I'm in my farm. I went to flight sheets. But you can go to an individual rig and go to the flight sheet for that as well. But I'm just going to show you this for an example. So if I go to coin, like I'm creating a new flight sheet right here, I can select eth. I'm just going to add a random wallet. And for pool, I'm going to select Hive on Pool, which I actually do use because it's worked well for me. It integrates with the OS and they have low fees. So I'm going to select Hive on Pool. Now you'll notice that I'm presented with a set of pool servers to select from. And by default, I'm on the East Coast in the US. I would just click on that if I didn't have any other information. Probably as my backup, I would select US West Coast, then maybe North America, Canada and Europe as a backup as well. But they've now added a way before you make these selections to check your pool latency. One, this will help you with your network, just making sure that everything's running properly and your connectivity is good, but it'll also help you prioritize which of these servers you connect to first. So I'm gonna select, and since I'm at the farm level here, making this flight sheet, it's gonna give me an option to run this test from any one of these rigs right here. Now I will choose Skywalker and notice I don't have to do anything else. It's already started to ping these pools right here for me. And it's gonna show me the latency for each one of these. So let's wait till we get a result. Usually it takes maybe 10 or 20 seconds for it to get responses back from these servers. Okay, there we go. And that was maybe somewhere between 20 and 30 seconds. I didn't time it exactly, but not too long. And look at this. Now I've got a new perspective on which one of these I'm going to choose. So like I mentioned, by default, if I didn't have any other information, I probably would have chose U.S. East Coast. But I've noticed today, I ran this test earlier, that the latency is really high. You want this number to be low. This is how quickly it can communicate with this particular server between this server and your rig. And notice this is really high. So I'm not going to be selecting US East Coast. And maybe they're doing maintenance on it or something like that. But regardless, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, look at this, North America. We're at 42 milliseconds right here. So I'm going to check this off. And then my next best is going to be US West. I will select that. And then Europe, right here, I'm at 108 milliseconds, which is fairly average. I mean, it's not bad, it's not good. So I'm gonna select that as a third backup. And then when these ping rates are better, I'll use this as my last backup right here. And then I apply that, and I have my fully configured pools set up by my ping rate for best performance and I'm ready to create that new flight sheet. Now this will also work on existing flight sheets if you go and you test Hive on pool here. Okay guys, I hope that tip helps you out. If you've got any questions, comments, or any tips of your own, put them in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, Raptors. Good monkey, very simple man With big, warm, fuzzy secret heart Good monkey, like